What is going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new unboxing video and I'm so excited for this video because I've been waiting a while because it's not only an unboxing video but it's also an announcement. So recently 2017 hit of course and I wanted to make a couple of changes which I'm still thinking of doing a couple of changes but one of the things that I've changed was my sponsorships. So No Scope Gaming Glasses if you guys know about it, basically they closed officially after 2016. Literally. December 31st so that means I was done with no scope game glasses and I still use them to till today and I still have I totally forgot what these are but they have been out of stock for who knows how long they're not even in the store at all and I've had these for like about two years and I have nothing but love and respect towards no scope game glasses but since they were closing I had to move on and I had to go to another uh, company to get sponsored by and that's why I'm going to be unboxing these new glasses from the company called screen which now I am sponsored with and I'm really excited to work with them and I cannot wait for them to come out with new types of products. They already have a couple of, of apparels, a couple of glasses which I'm really uh, interested in trying out and they're basically the same thing. Now what I've always been questioned about is what are the benefits of game glasses or computer glasses in general whenever I'm streaming or whenever I'm making a video people like say that there's no point in it, there's like no reason, they're just scamming you, stuff like that. But I know the reason why into it, so I want to explain to you guys the real reason and why game glasses and computer glasses are really important, especially for those of you guys that stare at a screen for multiple hours and like you, that's basically your job and that's basically your life and that's how it is for people that are young to people that have businesses and are on the screen, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop, for multiple hours you're watching tv stuff like that you're doing this for multiple hours and life is now in the digital world so i'm going to be explaining to you guys why gaming glasses or computer glasses in, uh, in general are really important now all right so the reason for gaming or computer glasses like gun optics, no scope gaming glasses, and screen eyewear are because most of us, if not all of us, look at a digital screen for multiple hours. Phones, tablets, laptops, monitors, TVs, etc. And they all produce artificial light. And if you look at the color spectrum of light, blue gives off the most energy out of all of them. And throughout long periods of time staring at a digital screen, you start to get digital eye strain. And that could cause things like blurry vision, visual stress, eye fatigue, headaches, dryness, or insomnia. And then later on, like 5 to 20 years depending on the amount of time you spend looking at a digital screen it can begin to affect your eyes permanently many companies like apple are starting to realize this and they're even including a feature to your phones to add more of a warm tint to reduce the eye strain there's many apps as well that do the same thing like for android there's this app called twilight that lets you control the color temperature and intensity and to keep your eyes more relaxed and we all know that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you look at your phone and the extreme light from your phone is blinding you so there's a solution for phones and tablets, but what about for laptops, monitors, and TV screens? That's where gaming or computer glasses come in place. Gaming or computer glasses has an orange tint which helps reduce the blue rays, thus allowing you to game or be on the digital screen for a longer period of time. They also enhance a bit of contrast to make the visual quality better and some magnification to sharpen the certain things and for gaming it helps identify your enemies better when they are farther away. And the good thing about this is that you don't notice that much of a difference, especially if you're gaming in the color temperature so it won't bother you but I don't recommend wearing them when you're doing something like when you're color correcting a video. Alright you guys, so now you saw the reason why game glasses or computer glasses in general are really important and the, the technology in it, why it's really important in protecting your eyes. Now it won't affect you now, but it'll affect you in the long run after multiple hours, multiple days of testing and using these glasses. It'll really uh, show benefits and it'll really help you guys out. So now we're going to get into these glasses from screen. And just to let you guys know, of course, now I am sponsored by them and I'm really happy to be sponsored by them. So if you guys want to get 5% off, use discount code X4GM10 to get 5% off. Usually um, it's just X4GM, but now there's 10 uh, after that and it stands for X4 Gaming for my second channel. So now let's get into the unboxing and let's see how this is. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that you see when you get the screen glasses is you get a nice carrying case, which is really nice. So you get a nice hard protective carrying case, and it looks like that you could clip this onto your backpack or something like that. So that's really cool. 
and let's see what we get. Right. Okay. So we get a nice little card that says, thank you for buying with us. Uh, as our way of saying thanks, we're giving you 10% off your next purchase of anything on our website. Just use the code uh, back for more at checkout. Or feel free to share this code with your friends and family. One use per customer. So whoever wants to buy some screen eyewears, you guys are able to use this. It's called uh, back for more. I don't know if the camera's really focusing on it. But if you guys want to use this to get 10% off of your purchase, just use the code back for more and you'll get 10% off. And if you guys don't, then you can easily just use my code X4GM10 for 5% off. So it's not that bad. That's really cool. So I'm going to put this to the side. You get the glasses and some candy. Wait, what? You get some nice little candy. I'm so done. They provide you with candies. That's crazy. And you get a nice little cloth to to basically clean the lens so we're gonna put the carrying case to the side and you just get like a white cloth so that's really nice and then you get the glasses itself in this little bag so we're gonna open this up and then remove them and it's pretty simple it's just the normal glasses just with the orange tint so it's not that bad and there's no logos or anything of screen so nothing on the frame at all just they just really focus on the quality of it and I can feel a little bit of the quality of it. It looks really nice. Of course, like nothing's loose because it's brand new. So like pushing this back takes a little bit more strength than like with my no scope game glasses because I've had that for two years. And just for a little bit of a comparison, I have the no scope game glasses right here and here are the glasses and they come out a lot easier because two years of using them, you know, they wear and tear, you know that. And they have the no scope game glasses logo, the orange tint, except this seems like to have a bit of more, which looks interesting. And they also came with the white cloth with the no scope logo, which I'm hoping that screen does that with theirs. And of course this is more white because this have been used for two years. So imagine that. And their case is a little bit different. Theirs is like a little pleather, a little leather case with a magnetic flap so that they don't come off, so that the glasses don't fall out. And um, I really like the protective case more, but I would love for them to put the screen logo like around here or something like that. And I would love for them to put the screen logo on the cloth as well to make it like authentic, basically no scope gaming glasses. You know, they have their uh, own case and their own cloth. So you know that it's for the no scope gaming glasses and these could be used for anything. These could be used for just regular glasses and the cloth as well. There's no like screen logo or anything like that. Not even on the glasses. So I hope they uh, add like some type of logo on the frame of the glasses, either the name or just the logo. And they add like the logo on the uh, protective case and on the, uh, the screen protector. Okay, so I have the screen glasses right here and we're gonna be testing a couple of things. First, we're gonna see how they look on me, which is gonna be pretty bad because I have a feeling I don't look good with glasses. I don't think I look good with the no scope game glasses. So I feel like there's gonna be no difference with the screen glasses, especially because they're bigger, basically. And then we're gonna be testing out some headsets tests. So we're gonna see how comfortable they are with a gaming headset like the Astro A40s. I'm pretty sure a lot of you competitive gamers know about these. And we're gonna be testing out some studio headphones like the Status Audio CB1s. Now the difference is that these are pleather, nice little pleather ear cushion, and then the other ones are nice soft fabric cushion. So there's gonna be a really good um, chance that one will be more comfortable than the other, of course. I have a feeling it's gonna be the Astros, of course, because of gaming, and these are mainly for audio heads for people that like to edit audio. So um, we're gonna see how these are, and I have a feeling I look like a fucking geek because I kind of tested this already. I looked myself in the mirror and, uh, you know, but it's whatever. And just to let you guys know, I'm gonna be using this for now on uh, whenever I'm streaming and whenever I'm making a gaming video. Basically, I might be switching from time to time to the no scope game glasses just to make a comparison and, um, and see how different they are in comfort level and if there's actually a bit of a difference, if there's more tint on this or there's more orange tint on the other ones and um, now we're going to be testing out and see how comfortable they are with Astro A40s. Okay, so I actually did not feel that much discomfort at all because it's barely even touching the headset so that's really good. So the flat 
uh, frame is actually really helpful, which I did not really expect. So that's pretty good. So the Astro E40s I could play for a long period of time with these headset on. And so I'm pretty sure I could play for a long period of time with the glasses and the headset on as well. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to be testing out the CV1s and see how they are whenever I'm editing type of audio or when I'm editing a video basically. Okay, so there is a bit more discomfort with this headset with the glasses. I'm trying to Okay. Just pressing down. I could still pretty much edit a video with these glasses on and with the headset for a long period of time. So that's really good. So they passed basically the headset test. So, you know, most gamers, most competitive gamers play with glasses on or and with headsets on. And so I'm pretty sure for those of you guys that are interested in buying screen that they will not affect you with any type of headset, whether it's the nice cloth or the leather feel of it. So pretty sure that they passed the test. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be testing this out for a good amount of um, weeks, maybe like about a month or two. I'm going to be changing between these and the no skin game glasses. I'm going to make maybe a comparison video about them and I'll make my final review about them. So stay tuned for that. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, use X4GM10 for 5% off of screen eyewears. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, it's Techie G. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.